In this installment, we're going to be going over the NFL bets for the doubleheader on Monday night. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Chef D, and I'm here to give you the winning ingredients for our doubleheader on Monday Night Football. We have two great games to go over, but before we deep dive into that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MetsNetsSD. Don't forget about that TikTok at Chef underscore D91, and don't forget about that Patreon. Right now, we're at the homepage of the YouTube channel, currently at 842 thousand subscribers this is the road to 10k and we are well on our way because you guys are showing up each and every single day um if you already subscribe continue to like and comment that helps the youtube algorithm so we can grow to a much broader audience all right and guys if you want to sign up for that patreon if you want to sign up for the premium plays on for monday night football we're talking about first touchdown scores parlays with props you sign up right now that description is down below for the patreon link you're getting daily bets future bets and access to that group chat that goes off 24 7. i'm so excited to announce i'm partnered with bet stamp and sign up experts to provide you guys with an easier way to sign up with any sportsbook in your area if you go to the link in the description down below you will be directed to this page you see here it automatically displays all available sports books in your area plus their current promotions for example you could take the plays given in this video and apply it to any other sports books you don't currently have and reap the rewards now let's get into the slate first game up in the doubleheader here we have the buffalo bills 2-0 going to be against the jacksonville jaguars 0-2 uh, for the current odds for this one, Bills are at, at home minus 250 on the money line with the comeback of the Jaguars at a plus 200. Point spread set at five and a half. Total point set at 45 and a half. Uh, for the public bet percentage here, we have 98% of the bets, 99% of the money all over the Buffalo Bills here. Uh, for the spread, 73% of the bets, 56% of the money towards the Bills to cover. And for the total points, we have 59% of the bets and 70% of the money towards the over 45 and a half. Uh, injury report here for the Jaguars and the Bills. Um, looking at the injury report, we have Evan Ingram. He's out. Uh, Jacksonville Jaguars will be uh, leaning on Brenton Strange. Okay, so they're going to be limited with their weapons. Um, it's going to be guys that have not performed uh, yet this year, have been subpar. They do have Brian Thomas Jr. We'll get to him very soon, uh, but they have him. Christian Kirk, who's been average this year, and Gabe Davis coming back to his old team in the Buffalo Bills. He has been uh, below average as well in that, that signing, all right? Um, Tank Bigsby is questionable. Darnell Savage is questionable. And Tim Jones, wide receiver, is questionable. All right. Buffalo Bills here. Um, they're going to be missing two pieces on the defense. Ter uh, Terrell Bernard and Teron Johnson. They're going to be out of this game here against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, for this matchup here, we had the Bills um, coming off a two very impressive performances. A bounce back win against Arizona Cardinals. Um, and then against the Miami Dolphins there, dominated. This defense showed out, and they were able to run the ball all over the Miami Dolphins. Uh, so that defense is looking very strong coming into this game here against the Jacksonville Jaguars at home. And going up against Trevor Lawrence, who looks very, very inconsistent. And you're looking at the Jaguars. Uh, they lost to Miami Dolphins, uh, gave that game away. And then were dominated by the Cleveland Cavaliers, weren't able to put up much points and lost to Deshaun Watson, made him look good. All right. So this is a very ugly matchup here for the Jacksonville Jaguars. I am afraid of, of them. And the point spread is looking very juicy here for the Buffalo Bills at home. All right. What we've seen from that pass rush uh, and that domination, it's definitely see some opportunities here to to definitely have Trevor Lawrence in some situations where he's going to turn over the football and get some sacks. So this defense here looks phenomenal for the Buffalo Bills. I like them at home in this spot against the Jaguars and against an inconsistent uh, quarterback in Trevor Lawrence that didn't really deserve that money, but they paid him anyway. 
Uh, so hopefully the Jaguars are going to have a chance. They're going to have to get the run game going with Travis Etienne. And hopefully Tank Bigsby does play in this game. But I highly doubt that's going to be a, a, a major factor. We're going to be on the Bills in this one at home. The cover two defense that the Bills play is going to limit the, the deep routes. And it's going to really limit the outside wide receivers, which is Brian Thomas Jr. And it really focuses on the middle. All right. So if you want to beat the Bills, you got to beat them in the middle and you're losing your tight end and Evan Ingram. And that's going to be a huge loss. It's going to have to be Gabe Davis trying to win in the middle or Christian Kirk and or Britton Strange. All right. And that's not that's lesser quality uh, weapons there uh, for the Jaguars going against this Bills defense. All right. So if they are limiting the deep pass and, and you're expecting Trevor Lawrence to be on point in the middle, there could be some issues. OK, uh, Bills here. Money line, Bills minus five and a half. And for the total, give me the under on the 45 and a half total points in this. Last but not least, for the Monday night doubleheader here, we have the Cincinnati Bengals going up against the Washington Commanders here. Current odds for this one, Bengals minus 350 on the money line. Uh, with the comeback of the Commanders at a plus 280. Point spread set at seven and a half. Total points set at 47. All right, public bet percentage here, 94% of the bets, 90% of the money all over the Bengals in this one. Point spread, 71% of the bets, 72% of the money towards the cover of the Bengals here. And for the total points, we have 64% of the bets towards the under, but 55% of the money towards the over 47 in this one. Uh, for the injury report, uh, we have the Bengals dealing with a couple injuries here. Some key guys on defense, especially in the interior. BJ Hill, doubtful. Um, Tanner Hudson, tight end, backup tight end. He's out. Sheldon Rankin out as well. So those two interior D linemen is going to be out. And that's going to be scary here going up against a Washington Commanders team that can definitely run the ball with Brian Robinson, uh, Austin Eckler, and Jaden Daniels. Uh, Q, uh, Q tag on Von Bell and Q tag on Chris Jenkins. Another uh, D tackle. So they could be really out. Um, on that D line in that interior, that's gonna that would benefit the Commanders heavily. All right, um, for the Commanders, Clay, uh, Cleveland Farrell, he's out. D D N um, and Emmanuel Forbes is questionable. One of the worst corners in the league. Uh, so it's not even a good thing if he's if he's back. All right, uh, this this team here in the Commanders. Uh, struggles mightily against opposing wide receivers. So this is a perfect matchup for Joe Burrow. All right, Joe Burrow, this is a get right spot. Um, even Zach Moss, this is a get right spot. Uh, but I think this is just too many points. The issue, what I'm seeing here with the Bengals, yes, they obviously gone off to a slow start 0 and 2. But I think yes, they are home in here. I don't, I don't want to expect them for to cover this big number here at seven and a half automatically because I think the Commanders can keep this game close and they're going to keep up pace with the Bengals. So I like a back and forth environment in this game. I like the over on the 47 points. Obviously, I think the Bengals are going to score on the Commanders, but I think the Commanders are going to be able to keep it in distance here to cover that spread. It's going to be very key. And the injuries I just spoke about about the Bengals is going to allow. Uh, Jaden Daniels to be very comfortable in, in offense, get things going, rely on Brian Robinson, get dumps, dump offs to Austin Eckler, and they can definitely compete with the Bengals and keep this a high scoring environment and cover that spread at the plus seven and a half. I see no value in the Bengals taking. If you want to take the money line, you can. If you want to parlay it with the Bills, that can be an option. Uh, but I'm staying away from the minus seven and a half, seven and a half from the Bengals with all these defensive injuries, especially in the interior. All right. So uh, Bengals on the money line, commanders plus seven and a half for value. And for the total, we're going to go with the over 147. All right. So those are going to be our selections for the doubleheader on Monday night. Let me know in that comment section down below. Uh, what are your thoughts and opinions on this doubleheader? We could definitely debate about that down below. Or if you just want to say what's up. All right. Also down below will be the description section where you can click on that Patreon link. You can access to daily bets, future bets, and access to that group chat that's going off 24-7. This is your boy, Chef D. I'll be back very soon. Peace out.